Yes, you just saw a bunch of bags sitting on the floor. I am not one of those bag owners or bag collectors who feel that we can never put our bags on the floor. Hey, I put my beautiful leather shoes on the floor, so um, beautiful little leather bags on the floor. I am neither superstitious in that way, neither do I worry about dirt. So if I need to, I will put my bag sure enough on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm partially kidding. Welcome, welcome, y'all. This is a video that I have been planning to do, I've been meaning to do for a very long time, and I'm, I'm kind of ashamed about how long it has taken me to get this out. I'm so sorry. I think what I thought was that I needed to, my, my collection needed to be still for a few minutes before I um, could actually do a video, do this collection video. That's what it is, it's a collection video. My entire collection, I believe it's about 46 bags. Hopefully you all enjoy this. And again, I apologize for not doing this before now. Um, I know myself now, my collection will never be still. Um, just like I'm a bit hyper in real life <laughs> and have been since I was a little girl. Pretty sure that my, um, I mean, my collection is obviously the same way. I'm always, I'm always purchasing and then um, selling something else. And I pretty much have what I consider to be a revolving door collection, so. Um, that just ba basically means that my collection is always coming and going. Bags are always coming and going, and my collection is always evolving, and that's that's fine. I'm okay with that, and so I'm going to do this video with what I have right now, even though two bags are on the way. <laughs> anyway, I will start with Coach first, and then um, go to the next brands in my collection. Before I get started, welcome, welcome to everybody. I hope you all have been having a fantastic week, and I hope this... this uh, weekend coming up is excellent for you whether you have to work or not so coach first I'm gonna try to do this quickly I already did this video guys I did it a couple of days ago literally I kid you not I, I, I think it was 46 bags again I went into a little bit of detail with each bag and um, came up with two videos that were 55 minutes each so completely I have to scratch the going into detail um, whole concept because <laughs> it's not gonna work so I'm going to go very quickly around the bag not gonna take you inside not gonna say what you know all, all of the details and price and all that kind of stuff where I'll just give you the name colors and I'll have to move on so starting with my smaller bags first this is swinger bag swinger and wine with brass hardware or coated brass or whatever the heck they're using now that's been chipping this is wine burnished detail I really love this bag. I'm in it and have been in this bag for the past, what, six, seven weeks? So yeah, this bag, unintentionally, I've just been super, super busy. This is Original Glove Tan Leather. Again, love the bag. Here's the back. Very soft leather and again, Swinger. Part of the Originals collection and the color wine. Next up is my 1941 Red and Bordeaux Color Block. 1941 Soho bag and this can be used as a crossbody has a long strap the zipper pull is um, wristlet strap so it can be used as a crossbody wristlet and a clutch if I remove everything it looks more like a clutch and again 1941 red they're not making this anymore this was part of the 1941 collection when it was still around it's glove tan leather by the way I love this bag. I've had it for a very long time. I keep listing it because I don't use, I don't actually use it. I keep listing it and then um, reconsidering so many times. Anyway, it's so nice. It's a really nice glove tan leather. And I love the color and the color, color block. Again, that's the Soho. Next up, my little black beauty here. This is the Rambler 16 in pebbled leather. This is part of the, the Originals collection. The first set of Ramblers that they did for the Originals collection was smooth leather, but then um, we discovered like last year that they um, also did some pebbled leather Ramblers. There's a pocket on the back, brass hardware or brass coated hardware, Napa interior with detachable strap, little pocket here. The rest of the interior is, um, well, it's it's that Napa leather plus the 1941 um, textile card canvas or um, um, uh, material or whatever that was. Love the little bag. Again, this is a 16, very small, but I like it and I can, I can, I use it. Next is my beat bag. This was one of the original beats. This is the Basquiat collaboration. This was the, this and the Elm Basquiat beat was, uh, were the first beats that we saw. And that was about two years ago, I believe. This is just a really, really pretty bag. I haven't used it yet because it's ivory and I don't really use, I don't use ivory or white or chalk colored bags. It has three straps. 
chain strap, which I take off and display on other bags. A little handle strap here and a nice wide long strap that also attaches to this ring here. Two sections divided by a middle zip pocket and yeah, this is the bag. It's really nice, really nice, a really elegant looking bag and it's fun too. It's also very fun. Stopped in transit seven times. Gloved hand pebbled leather is what the material is and microfiber inside. Ugh. Gross, but whatever. So those are my little, my mini bags. Now moving on to more, this is still kind of a mini bag. My vintage bags, I'll show you all vintage next. It's a scooter, this is British tan and um, the hardware is brass this was real brass coach please go back to making stuff with real brass. I mean making our hardware our brass quote unquote brass that we have now please make that real brass again and not some coated junk that chips I need to get off that guys anyway this is scooter again a British tan one of my absolute favorite crossbodies pocket on the interior fits my big old galaxy really well raw leather interior small rolled strap that works quite well surprisingly I, I was surprised that it worked so well british tan scooter again that's vintage and the next are all vintage the next four or five bags are vintage this i believe is the companion i think it's the companion um this or the next bag that i will show you are the are called literally the companion bag but it's just a flat bag very simple very elegant this is mahogany with brass detail pocket on the back really nice wide and long pocket this square crossbody here is one of the easiest to use so a scooter but um this is so easy to use just a very simple turn lock get in get out easily I love this little dip here the strap is perfect not too wide not too thin not too thick either but the perfect thickness and it's very soft it does not uh, come off however uh, it is adjustable raw leather interior most of the interior is raw leather I have this little charm here because I just think it looks so great with mahogany mahogany is such a, a gorgeous brown again the companion flap bag Here's another bag. I don't know if this is the companion or if that other bag was the companion, but this beauty here is very similar to the last style. It has a flap with a turn lock. This one has the buckle strap set up. A different, it's pretty much the same concept of bag, but it's um, it's just different, it's a little different. Pocket there, it looks like a seam, doesn't it? It doesn't look like a pocket from afar, to me at least. But um, this looks really great, right? All this detail here, I love it, how it overlaps like that. Anyway, this is a flap. This is a flat, flat bag, guys. This is such a big flap for the size of the bag. Turn lock, nickel, nickel hardware. This bag hadn't been used when I purchased it. I got it for a really good deal. Here's the interior, same setup pretty much as the other. Raw leather, detachable strap. This one does come off though. And there's a, a pocket in there. Coach used to do this a lot with their vintage. Pocket in there that is not adhered to the back wall. Only the top part is adhered. But um, the rest of the uh, pocket can actually, I can take the pocket out, but not off completely, if that makes sense. Hang tag. Again, uh, this may or may not be the companion. Neither might the one before this. <laughs> but whatever. I love these bags. They're so great. I'm such a flat bag lover. All right, here is the next style. The next style is the Rambler's Legacy, and I have two, so I'll show you both of them. The first one here is Mahogany. And it's some of the softest leather and most beautiful leather that I have felt in my life. This bag is a good medium size. In my opinion, it's a good medium size. It's small in most other people's opinion probably. It's a good medium sized bag. It fits, it fits quite a bit. And um, it's not too, too big and bulky to wear on the hip. It's almost too big for me to wear as a crossbody. It, it's almost too big. I don't like to go bigger than this. But um, it's such a great style. We've got that very convenient turn lock again. Oh, it looks so good. Here's the uh, flap underside, which is raw leather again. And then this pocket here comes off of the bag, which, I mean, it, it stands away from the bag. So I mean, we've got a lot of space in there. You could fit three phones in there. <laughs> and then detachable belt strap here. There's a pocket, is there a pocket? Yep, there's a zip pocket on the back. 
just a nice, a nice, beautiful style. And I store all of my shoulder straps right in the bags. So again, Mahogany's Rambler's Legacy, Mahogany Rambler's Legacy, and this is same exact bag, but in a beautiful, very, very inky navy. Dark, dark, dark um, navy. I really love this color. Love this color with the brass hardware. It's just gorgeous. I didn't show you the bottom of the other one. The rolled, the rolled edges wear so well. So I love those. And then my last vintage bag is my Quart. This bag hadn't been used either. I absolutely love it. This is a one in a hundred bag, seriously. Um, camel with that um, pocket in the back. Camel with nickel hardware wasn't super common. And then to get it in this, this shape, this condition, which was pretty much unused, it's just unheard of these days for the most part. I mean, I'm sure there are, plenty, there are some out there. Top handle, flap again. The underside of this flap though is leather, smooth leather, really thick leather. And the leather is very soft on this one. This is um, the interior here. We've got a pocket, really nice long pocket. This setup is very modern. This is probably the reason why the court, and um, the court, one of the reasons why the court is so big probably is because it's such a great modern style. That um, pocket on the back, top handle, pocket, a slip pocket right up under is very, it's a very great convenient modern modern silhouette and then they also created this bag to have a detachable clip or dog clip or whatever you call these clips dog clip strap that works that works and it will be around for I mean this style is pretty much in even though it's a vintage style the interior was raw leather and also this smooth leather camel color again with nickel hardware detachable straps here's the hang tag pockets in the front and under the flap, in the back, excuse me, and under the flap. Next up are my 1941 bags, starting with 1941 saddle bags. This is a dark denim saddle bag. It was one of their just basic, smooth, gloved hand leather bags. I had it customized, but it was basically, these weren't that expensive, um, though they probably could have been more expensive because they're made out of full grain leather. This one um, has a little bit of burnished detail. This burnish detail is kind of covered but I hope you can see it on that other side dark denim which is one of my favorite colors from coach and I added some light colored flowers here here's the hang tag again such a great beautifully made bags this is my favorite crossbody style along with scooter that you just saw the interior is um, completely leather we've got a pocket here and leather all throughout. The only non-leather area is in this zip pocket in the back. That's that 1941 textile material. Detachable sh belt strap, which is adjustable. Adjustable. Fully leather and full grain leather. These are some of my favorite bags in my entire collection. Some of the best that, that I personally think Coach has come out with. They're very simple design. There's no closure. I mean, there's no, there's no closure on the flap. And it's a very, very simple design. However, it's such a great, well-made bag. It really is, and it's one of my favorites. And I love it. So I have this dark denim. I also have it in this color block right here. This is Bordeaux. See this burnished detail? So gorgeous. And you can actually see the striations. Hopefully the camera's catching that, picking that up. And then this one was a color block and material block. Material block is the... Um, We've got the Oxblood pebbled leather here on the sides and the bottom. The front and back are that smooth gloved tan leather in Bordeaux. And all of that is pebbled, gloved tan pebbled leather. And then another color we have is 1941 red. This was Python. This is one of their more expensive 1941 saddle bags. Red here too. The interior is all red. I keep the strap in here, protect it, but that's Python, y'all. So this thing, I think was like $7.95. I got it from the outlet, so it didn't cost me nearly that much. Anyway, so this is such a great, well-made bag. I need to do a video on this particular style because it's just amazing. Again, Bordeaux Saddle 20, I mean, Saddle 23, yes, from the 1941 collection. 
and then I also have this one that I purchased recently same same style but this one was a very special one also they they didn't make a whole lot of these they made it in I think chalk and oxblood in but the bigger size the regular saddle um, they did a, quite a few of those um, in this pebbled leather so this is a special one they also added whip stitch detail this was a very special bag here and along with that whip stitch detail is braided detail on the side and part of the bottom isn't that crazy look at that this is another very well made bag see they just they put so much more in. let me you know what I'm not gonna go into it let me shut up here is the hang tag orange on the other side and that is because the interior is orange also suede is the material on the interior of this one here's the strap adjustable removable and this is not black copper this is more of a gunmetal color it's shiny so 1941 saddle 23 and pebbled leather and on to a whole lot of a whole lot of row 25 well next are my rows and um, how many rolls 25 do I have? Not even going to count. I'm going to go through them very quickly. Otherwise, they will take forever. First one, gray. This is made to order. This is Heather Gray with black trim and brass hardware with a really nice honey interior. Um, the the side open compartments are honey. Really nice bag. I love it. This was a third generation rug. No strips on the bottom. Beautiful bag. Row 25, just a bunch of row 25s. <laughs> Dark denim and smooth gloved hand leather. Nickel hardware because Coach barely used it, so I created three, I think two, two or three of these bags with this. Uh, yes, three of them. I created three with nickel hardware because I love it. And I purchased another made to order, which I'll show you next, that had the same nickel hardware. But yes, this is, um, Indigo on the side open compartments. And then the interior of the 25 is just, you, we've seen it, right? If you follow my channel, you've seen the interior. It's that 1941 textile material. Beautiful 19, I mean, beautiful dark denim. Dark denim. And here's the next one that I was referring to earlier. This coach created themselves, even though this is a made to order rogue, coach did it. And I found it at their outlet. This is cornflower with dark denim trim. And the croc handles, I believe they're croc, are also dark denim, but they're like a darker, because they're a different material, they're a, they're a darker, um, I can show you here, they're a darker blue than uh, the regular dark denim. Cornflower has been discontinued, unfortunately, as has 1941 Red from their made-to-order lineup, the colors at least. Here we go. Honey interior. Had I made this, I probably would have done indigo interior, but honey is gorgeous also. Again, cornflower with croc handles, one of my favorites. Next, another nickel. Nickel hardware, I did this on purpose. I just wanted a very cool look for my dark denim and 1941 red Rogue 25s that I made, so I used nickel hardware instead of brass or black copper. This is 1941 red again, beautiful bag, gorgeous color, and I really hate and am super disappointed that Coach discontinued this color. I don't know why they did, it was the perfect red. And red, everyone needs to carry red, red interior. They do still have the red interior if you wanna add it to your Oxblood made to order, but whatever. This just, I don't understand why they did it. So this is my red bag. I love a good pop of color. Red is my main pop of color that I use. Next is Olive. This Olive bag was a mess up. If you want to see, go to my videos that I did. I, I did videos on my made to order robes. This was technically a mess up, but I love it just as much. It's not more than the one that I created on purpose. I mean, um, the one that I created to look a little different than this. You'll see it, it's coming up soon. But anyway, this is Olive with brass hardware and Honey interior and man when I I knew that olive and um, honey were going to and brass were going to be such a gorgeous combination and um, I don't know why coach did not do this themselves because it's just it's such a gorgeous combination I had it I had it um, customized a little I put rivets here on the side tabs and also on the front beautiful bag and I love the mess out of it 
Next is another made to order rogue. Most of the rogues that I have now are made to order. Made to order rogue here is, this is their vegetable tan leather. Very special leather, it's very high maintenance and they just came out with it last year. I did videos on this also, so go check those out if you want information on these, but this is nutshell if I'm not mistaken. I almost always call it nutmeg, but it's nutshell. This is vegetable tan leather, sensitive to light and water liquids and um, over time it will, uh, it will patina, which is pretty much, it will shine up a little bit, but it will also darken and change color slightly. It will pretty much develop a tan, a suntan. Carbon powder is the trim here. It's just on the overlay. Everything else is nutshell. This is a fourth generation Rogue. However, Coach added these um, strips back. I added this little Rexy charm from one of my made to order, not made to order, ready to wear jackets that I purchased from Coach. The interior is a really pretty brown color. I didn't choose the interior, they automatically choose it depending on what exterior color you choose when you're creating one. If you notice, there's no clochette here. Coach did away with that, but we get a nice big thick strap now, crossbody strap, which I don't even use and don't want and really wish I could have had a choice between the strap and the clochette, but whatever. So here's my, again, my nutshell, made to order vegetable tan roll 25. Next made to order, Rogue is this black one here. Love it, this is one of my favorites, one of my favorite color combinations. With Coach, Oxblood Black and Brass Hardware are my favorite color combinations. I have another Rogue in um, the flipped color, you'll see, because what I just said didn't make any sense. But anyway, I made these, except the nutshell, I made all these 25s at the same time in 2020, and the interior is Oxblood. Beautiful color, beautiful bag. I love it, love it, love it. These little charms came from um, shoes. You might have noticed them on a couple of my bags. They come, came from the backs of um, 1941 sneakers that Coach did a few years ago. Love it. And then, next is one of my most special and my favorite bag. Oops, backwards. Let me fix it here. Let's fix you up, bag, come on. Here we go. This is also a black roll with, again, oxblood trim. This has prairie rivets. This was not, this is not a made to order bag. This was done by Coach in, I believe, 2016. And they did a collaboration with Saks. They also did what they called their 75th anniversary roll, which had the, um, looked like this exactly, but it had whiplash detail on the handles and whip stitch details on the side. And they, they did a big 36 for Coach to sell directly. And then they did a, an exclusive for Nordstrom Rack, which is, is, was in size 31. And this was the exclusive they did for Stacks Fifth Avenue. And I love it. Love the bag so much. Look at this detail. Hand applied prairie rivets. An oxblood trim. Here's the back. The bottom, excuse me. The back and the bottom. And we've got our oxblood interior. This bag, again, is my favorite probably my entire collection. Of all the bags you're seeing now, this is my favorite. Next up is the basic black Rogue 25. This was also not a made to order Rogue. This is just a Rogue that Coach, Coach made. Um, and it's just, it's the basic black with pebbled glove tanned leather, black copper hardware, honey interior, basic black, Really nice bag. I'll probably probably let this one go because I've purchased so many recently. I did purchase this recently, like two months ago, but um, I have I'm sure lots of friends who would want this and would use it more than I would, even though I just put I just added this back to my collection. But I really don't. I don't need it. It was a great deal, and um, I did want the basic little black in my collection, but I probably don't need it. Whatever. Anyway. It's just like this one. This one is the Big Mama bag. This is size 31, the size above that one that I just showed you. Same exact color scheme. This is the same bag pretty much, but just in the bigger size. This is black with black co copper hardware again. The original hang tag is also black, but I put this goldenrod hang tag here. Um, and the other one is the original hang tag is inside. But um, the men matches so perfectly, doesn't it? And I. Had this one customized with whip stitch when coach was still doing whip stitch on their um when it was still a part of their coach create program 
I don't know why they're not doing it anymore. It's just ridiculous. Rivets here. Beautiful bag. Honey interior just like the other one. Next is another made to order Rogue. This one is the same as the other little olive that I showed you. This is what I designed the other olive to look like, but Coach didn't understand what I was saying or whoever put the order in didn't understand. And so they did a straight olive instead of olive with heather trim. The other little one was supposed to have, uh, it was supposed to be in smooth leather like it is and it was supposed to have olive, olive trim. But I'm glad they messed up because eventually I went back, um, I brought it back to them, the, the other one that was the mess up, Brought it back to them and it sat in their store for a little while as I waited for this one to be done. They did this one um, in a four weeks maybe because they had to do a rush rush order because they didn't want me to be too disappointed. And um, when this one got here, I decided, you know what, let me just go ahead and buy the other one too. So now I have both in my collection. They gave me a good price on that mess up. So I uh, wanted to go ahead and buy it. But this is what my original was supposed to look like. I love it. It's just a gorgeous color, gorgeous bag. Olive with heather gray trim and brass hardware. Here is the uh, flipped color scheme that I was talking about with my other bag. My black 25, I said that this is my favorite color combo. Well, it is. Um, black with oxblood and brass hardware. I don't care if it's black, you know, exterior and um, oxblood trim or oxblood body and then black trim, but it's just gorgeous. Oxblood everywhere with black trim, brass hardware, and oxblood interior. I didn't create this one. This is a made to order Rogue. I didn't create it. I bought it um, pre-owned. And this was going to be the first made to order robe that I created. However, somebody beat me to it, so I just bought this and then created the others. But this was my number one made to order robe that I was going to do. Had I not found this on Poshmark from a lovely seller, I wouldn't have, I mean, this would have been my first made to order robe that I myself created. Love it so much. That is the end of my robes. On to the next brand.